What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and today the sneak peeks have been kicked off. So they've started with a huge kick up the backside for farmers, or is it? With the new update we are going to have a brand new shield system and most striking is that you will not get a shield if your town hall is destroyed. So gone are the days where you could have a base like mine, whether that's for farming or high end trophy pushing where you just want that shield it's not going to happen. The new shield system will work off damage to your base. So 30% will give you a 12 hour shield, 60 will give you a 14 hour shield and 90% plus you will get a 16 hour shield. The shield will also only be given if 50% of the attacking army is used. And this also says that it is calculated from the defender's town hall level. So I'm assuming that me being a Town Hall 10 and having 240 troop capacity that the attacker would have to use at least 120 troops for me to get a shield. The other big change is attacking with your shield. So traditionally you would lose your shield if you made an attack outright. Following the new update you will not break your shield by attacking, you will merely reduce the amount of time you have on your shield. You can also search without breaking the shield and it's only when you make a physical attack that your shield is reduced in time. So you'll see by the image there that your first attack reduces your shield by 3 hours. However multiple attacks the penalty will be greater. So we're thinking that this is 4 hours for your second attack, 5 for your third etc etc. However, the fact that you can search and not break your shield means that if you're high end trophy pushing, you can continually search until you find a huge trophy offer. Likewise, if it's loot, you could continually search until you find a huge loot offer, whatever it is that you're wanting to find. Because your shield will not physically get that reducing time until you actually do the attack, and that goes for revenge as well. So, on the face of it, as a farmer, you're not getting that shield by putting your town hall out. However, in theory, there should be more loot available when you're searching because this is everybody that's going to be affected. So, when you have stacks of loot and your storages are nearly full, you can't merely put your town hall out and get a free shield. So, you should find them larger storage raids, I would think. Therefore, my guess is that for you farmers, it's going to be swings and roundabouts. Because you're not getting that free shield by having your town hall out, you probably will lose a bit more loot. However, if you're very active, you should be able to make up for that with the loot that you find. As a trophy pusher, it's certainly very interesting. It's kind of how it should be, but you shouldn't see the town halls on the outside as you're pushing up, because people won't be giving them away for the one star, because they're not getting that free shield. You also get your shield earlier, so you get it at 30% instead of 40%, but I'm not sure how that will affect the pushing too much, because I'm not sure how many people really get less than 40% if they're seriously going for your base. However, the fact that you can click next and keep doing that until you find a huge trophy offer without breaking your shield is going to be huge. So there you have it guys, let me know down below what you think of the changes to the shield, Bear in mind that we still do have the village guard mode and the personal break which we don't know much about and will most likely have a direct impact on this. I've said I think it swings and roundabouts and I think Supercell are doing this to obviously encourage people to attack. You don't want to be sitting there not attacking because you've got a shield and you don't want to break it. And don't forget that tweaks and things do often get made after updates and I'm sure with this one coming up and it being so huge. Supercell will be very closely monitoring everything that's going on. The other thing being talked about today is this image which appears to show a new dark barracks and a second dark spell factory. This was shown on the new Clash of Clans website which if you haven't checked out already go and check it out because it's fantastic with lots of resources on there. If you have a look now it's not there but this was on Wicked Gaming's video where he went over the website and he seemed to go back to this part at the end and showed you this image. Whether it's true or not we'll just have to wait and see but it did appear to be on the Clash of Clans website and they did share his video on social media sites. 
What do you guys think? I think it's great. If we're getting a new troop, that's fantastic. Maybe it's something to do with that new defense. We'll just have to wait and see. This has been Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.